Hello students. Today we're going to extend our writing of equations of lines by adding a little bit to what we've already learned. You'll remember from yesterday when we did a direct variation, a direct variation equations, we wrote them as y equals mx, and m was the slope. And x and y were just x and y, and there are actually two points on that line. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add that, add to that. But let's think about the y equals mx. With y equals mx, we know that they always pass through 0, 0. And so that was our starting point for some of them. But on some examples, it would just pass through 0, 0. And that's why it was just y equals mx, because anything that passes through 0, 0 is a direct variation, which means all the points are proportional. Well, you know, sometimes lines don't pass through 0, 0, which means they're not proportional. So we have another way of writing those types of equations of lines, and we add one part to it. So instead of just y equals mx, we add that b. Now m is still a slope, just like it was over here, but b is the y-intercept. And I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. B is the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is the place on the graph where my line crosses the y-axis. And whatever the place is where it crosses the y-axis, I plug in for B. B could be positive or negative. M is still the same. I still have to find the slope from that line, but I'm going to choose now to find my B, which is the point where it crosses the y-axis. So let's look at an example of a graph of a line. We've seen these before in our class, and let's see if we can figure out what the equation is using the y equals mx plus b. Now you'll notice that it does not pass through zero, comma zero. So it's not proportional, it's not direct variation. That's why we have to add this plus b first. So the first thing we need to do is find our slope. So let's figure out what m equals. And m, I'm going to choose this point to get to this point. And so we know that we do rise over run. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So my rise is 4, and my run is 1, 2, 3. But since I'm going to the left, that run is negative 3. So my slope is negative 4 over 3. <clears throat> That's the first part of our equation. Now I've got to figure out where does it cross the y-axis. Now you'll see it crosses the x-axis right here, but we're not concerned about that. We only want to know where it crosses the y-axis. So let's figure out what point that is. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it crosses the y-axis at negative 4. So b in this case equals negative 4. Because again, that's the point where it crosses the y-axis. So now my equation, I just plug in m and plug in b. And so the equation of this line is y equals negative 4 thirds x and then minus 4. So let's just talk about that one more time. Where this negative 4 come from? The point where it crosses the y-axis. And where did I get negative 4 over 3? Well, I start at this point right here, go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the left 1, 2, 3. So my slope is negative 4 over 3. And then there's my equation. The last thing that I want you to do is to figure out the equation of this line and send it to us on Edmodo as a post sent directly to me and or Mr. Chizer. So I'm, I know it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to help you with a few things. Um, we know it's going to start out at y equals mx plus b, but you've got to figure out what m is and what y or what b is. Excuse me. So let's count um, one, two, three, four. So where it crosses the y-axis is there. So I'm going to count that again, one, two, three, four. And now let's figure out what the slope is. 
I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go to this point right here. So you can count along with me. One, two, one, two, three. So now would you please take that information that you just got, write it as an equation um, in y equals mx plus b form, and then send that to us as a direct post and Edmodo.